everyone, Jason Shepard here of M0A.com and welcome to the 31 Days to Safer Pilot Challenge. Over the next 31 days, I'm going to be releasing videos to you guys to help make you a safer pilot. Again, whether you're on the private pilot level or whether you fly for a living. In today's video, what we're going to talk about is an engine failure on takeoff. There's two scenarios to this. Engine failure on takeoff, runway remaining, and engine failure on takeoff with no runway remaining. Today we're going to talk about with runway remaining. Now it's real easy um, if you lose an engine on takeoff rollout. That's easy. But what happens if you depart and you're 50 to 100 feet possibly up in the air but there's still a little bit of pavement in front of you? Can you make that pavement right underneath you and get back down safely? Well I'm going to show you how to do just that in this video. An engine failure on takeoff, uh, even with usable runway remaining, can be so difficult because you don't realize how much nose down force it's going to take to get that airplane back on the ground. So let's say here we are departing. It is an absolutely beautiful day. Run up. Everything went great. We're rolling down the runway. We rotate. And literally, as soon as we get aloft, let's say 50 to 100 feet, the unthinkable happens and the engine quits. Now watching this clip, how much nose down force right here we're actually applying. Literally from coming from that high critical angle of attack and losing all that forward thrust, that airplane just falls out of the sky. Uh, with that usable runway remaining, it is so important that you react quickly and get that nose down. This is something too I really hope and uh, and want you guys to go out and practice. However, go out and find that 8,000, 9,000, 10,000 uh, foot strip to go out and practice this on and of course back taxi once you get done before you depart again. Um, Guys, for all these videos, to go and take a look at day two uh, of the Safer Pilot Challenge, all you have to do is go to saferpilotchallenge.com to get all those videos as they're being released. I can't wait to read your comments and see you guys over in day two tomorrow. And most importantly, guys, remember that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. See ya.